Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Toolon and this week's episode of Ryobi Weekly. This is where we take a look around the industry in multiple countries all around the world. We look for sales, we look for new technology, and we like to highlight people in the community that are doing some really great things with their tools, tool organization, big projects, creative things, altering their tools. We like to see it all here, and this is what we'll show you. So stick around. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So this week we haven't really seen any new tools, we just see a couple things hitting the shelves as they go along as we prepare for Christmas. Um, and then also in terms of sales, well we're seeing the continuation of the Black Friday sales for tools at Home Depot, while well, they're continuing them it looks like straight through Christmas. Not sure if we're going to see anything as the weeks draw closer, but we're going to keep our eyes peeled and we will bring that to you as soon as we can. We're going to start off by looking at the Ryobi Revolution Group. Justin Martin, he is the first one that I've seen that is actually posting some of the new link systems to where he has some of the tour organization on the wall. He's starting out small, but he has a pretty good setup already. So right on, uh, I'm glad to see that you got out there, you've got it mounted, and you're using it, and you shared it with the community. Thanks, Justin. Now we're going to be carrying that same note. Uh, Matt Robbins, he did post, he saw, well, I think he's reposting, uh, but someone did see the first Home Depot displays for the Ryobi Link system. As you can see here, it looks pretty clean. It looks like it's almost in a shelving system, but they have a bunch of stuff there. They're showing off, uh, looks like a garage scene with a ladder. It, they have a lawnmower, they have a little, looks like a pruner or a chainsaw, a level, some hand tools, so everyday handyman stuff that you would need to maintain your house and to do the everyday chores that you would need to do. It looks like they're trying to appeal to a broad audience, which is great. I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see that Home Depot is getting it up there, getting their displays together to, uh, you know, make sure that everybody knows what the system is and how to use it. Now we're going to move over to the Ryobi Freaks page. And Michael Dean, he is back at it. And he has another TikTok video where somebody is slamming themselves in the face with a drill because they did not have a good tight grip on it. Go ahead and check out Michael Dean's TikTok video. While we're in the Ryobi Freaks page, let's take a look at Noah Bach. He's actually doing some really cool things with his tools and he is making a floating bed and he put the finishing touches on it and put some really nice lighting all the way around it so it looks like it is levitating above the floor. He shows you how he built it and he has the nice compartments underneath. He has the good supports there. Uh, so he's doing a lot of really good stuff um, within this. I think it's very interesting how he built it but he's doing it with Ryobi tools. So, you know, we have to really give him some credit where credit's due and thank you for sharing your skills and some of your cool projects. I hope that you continue to do this, Noah, and we'll see you in the uh, next episode, I'm sure, because I know that you have more up your sleeve. While we're on the Ravi Freaks page, we have another one, and this one's festive because of the season. This is Josh Bailey. So he's putting together a nice shelving system that hangs on your wall, and it is a Christmas tree, and it looks like you can hang some coats or keys or something on the bottom, but it actually has a pretty rustic look to it. He put some artistry into it. He has a couple closed cells, a couple open cells, uh, so it does have that uh, look to it that I think that you'll see it like a home goods store, so he's putting out some high quality stuff there. Um, I really like seeing this. I wish that more people would post more of their cool projects like the floating bed and like the shelving system because I know there's a lot of people that are creative making these things and using you know, the good old Ryobi tools over here. So Josh, thanks for sharing this. I hope to see you in future episodes as well because I know you're very creative and you will be sharing more as well. So like I said in the beginning of the video, we like to go all over the world and this is Ryobi Tools UK, GBs for Great Britain. Uh, but what I'm seeing here is that they have some sales going on. It says as seen on TV and like you can see here, this guy is holding a drill and it says when you buy any starter kit for $99 or over, you get a free power tool. So that's pretty cool. We're seeing some of the sales that people get overseas and uh, we're able to report them here. Maybe they'll help some people out, but I think it's really cool just to see what people are doing around the world as well. Uh, last uh, week we talked about Denmark and some of the things that they've got going on. In fact, one of the TTI representatives reached out to me as well, so I'm in contact with him. So if we have any really cool stuff come through, he's going to let me know and we can report it here. So you know, most of the world can hear about that as well. So this is Ryobi User Group Deutschland. And this is a really cool saw. I have not seen the saw before. It looks like it latches onto a branch and it pulls it or at least locks it in place and you're able to saw it. Now this is a reciprocating saw and it's a one-handed saw so I could only imagine that this is a pruning saw. But it looks like you can just grab a limb, 
hold on to it, just pull straight down onto it, and it will cut the limb. I have not seen this before. If someone else has seen this before, please hit me up in the comments. Let us know all about it, and if you have a video or somebody demonstrating or you have it, hey, let's see more of it and see how this thing actually performs. I think the premise, or at least the theory behind it, is really cool, and I'd like to see more about it. So thanks for sharing that. Now we're going to head over to the Ryobi Tool User Group 2.0. This is Douglas Granger. So as you can see, as the veil rises up, he starts to come out on his Z-Turn Ryobi electric lawnmower. These things are really cool. And Douglas has actually posted a lot of videos. Uh, he's posted a lot of trails and things that he's done as he's GPS his yard with mowing it. Um, so I think where, as, since he's got it, he's really put a lot out to the community. But I wanted to highlight him here because this is not only just him posting it in the user group, this is actually a TikTok page, so he's getting into the TikTok world as well. So we have a few more people really trying to show some of their skills and social media and getting out there and, and uh, you know, filming themselves as well. So good job, Douglas. Now as we have her to the Ryobi Rebels page, this is Alan Orsak. Now he's been on this particular video update one or two other times because he does really cool jobs. Now he's a professional and he uses the Ryobi tools on a daily basis. In this video and it looks like it could be like an 8 inch deep well socket that he has on the end. It looks like the 300 foot pound half inch torque wrench, impact torque wrench. So, but he, it looks like he's lagging in and that is water behind him. So he is installing another deck. So great to see Alan. Great to see that you're still posting a lot of pictures. Some of these great projects that you're doing. Keep that up and we will keep posting it here because we want to support you because you're supporting the brand and you're supporting the community. And I think people get inspired by seeing some of the cool things that you do as well. And that brings me to the conclusion of our video. And right here, as you can see, the reason for this season, right? So it is Christmas season and we are producing ornaments. Now I took a little bit of creative liberties here and let me just show you a quick close up. These are the brand new Ryobi ornaments. Ryobi, Ryobi, Ryobi ornaments that I created. They're all 3D printed. Um, you can see the darker green ones. Uh, that's the filament that I had, but it turned out pretty good. Let me turn that around so you can see it. Um, but they're all, you know, they're pretty big. These are about three, four inches long. And they're about a quarter inch or just a little bit more um, in depth, but we're able to get these. And these are all genuine tools that I was able to uh, create and put here. And I thought that they would look really good as ornaments, so I hope that you all can appreciate that. The lighter green ones, I did prime and paint those. I was trying to get those as close to the tool colors as I possibly could, um, but they were fun to make. So these little ornaments came out much better than I could even expect. So I will have these in the link down below in my store. I'm going to try to price them accordingly. They do take a while to make, but I'm going to try and make them as cheap as possible. You still have time to order these, and we can get them shipped out to anywhere you want in the United States before Christmas, and that's very important to have. And if you would just like little miniature tools, I was able to get the R's and different things inside of it, and these are the hammers. You know, these these are cool. I like these little hammers. I really do. Um, they're the perfect outlines. We just did a silhouette of those. Um, so we're really excited about these. We hope that you all are really excited. We do still have hats. We still have shirts. We still have a lot of things out there that is available for purchase. We have all the new stickers out, and those are really cool as well, so you can check those out. We have some really good sellers. Anyways, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you enjoyed the content, seeing what people are doing out in the community. I hope that it inspires you to do more. I hope that it inspires you to, you know, if, if maybe you're shy, you know, post a couple projects out there because it's a great, positive community. You're not going to see a lot of competition you're going to see a lot of people that want to help you that want to make you know help you with your projects let you succeed it's a very friendly community out here it is a great sense of uh, of inclusion as well so you know don't be afraid um, I have all my contact information below you can join our groups and all the groups down below they're all there the TikTok links are all down below too so I hope that you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video everyone take care